Hi everyone and welcome to another video where it's gonna, I'm afraid it's another Doctor Who box set but that's all I've got to unbox at the moment. But it is an amazing box set, it's something I've never had before. It's the Doctor Who 13 Doctors collector figure set. Sorry I can't quite get it all on camera at the same time. This came out in 2016 and it's quite hard to find. It's probably one of the rarest Doctor Who figure things you can buy. It includes the 12th Doctor and the War Doctor, so you may remember an 11 Doctor set that's a lot easier to get hold of than this, but this one includes two extra Doctors. So let's have a look at the back. So I can't quite fit it all in, but let's go through it. So this is what the production images look like. The nice thing about this set is it does tell you which stories the figure is based on. So the first Doctor here is based on the web planet. The second Doctor is the older version in the two Doctors. Third Doctor is from the Time Monster. Fourth Doctor is from Logopolis, that's his last story. Fifth Doctor one is from The Awakening. And the Sixth Doctor is from Real Time. Is that a comic? I'm not 100% or Big Finish story, but it's like a blue outfit for him. Then we get the Seventh Doctor, which is Ghost Light. I thought the Eleven Doctor set was Ghost Light but maybe this one's just more accurate. Eighth Doctor is from the Night of the Doctor when he's injured. The War Doctor is the one that's seen in Day of the Doctor. Ninth Doctor is the Parting of the Ways. Tenth Doctor is the Shakespeare Code. I'm not quite sure why <laughs> Shakespeare Code is rather random. Eleventh Doctor is the Beast Below. And the Twelfth Doctor is Deep Breath. So I will get the figures out in a second and show you them close up, but this is what they look like in the packaging. Really nice. My fourth Doctor seems to be loose, I'm not quite sure why that is. They do also come with accessories, so all their sonic screwdrivers. The seventh Doctor even gets a sonic screwdriver, it's his one from the TV movie, which is a bit random. The sixth Doctor also gets an accessory, he gets a sonic lance. I'm not sure if the first Doctor gets a walking stick in this one. Doesn't look like the second Doctor gets an accessory either. But yeah, let's open up the box and we can have a nice look at the figures close up. So it does come with like a background from that era of figure releases it's the same sort of background and these are the figures now then fourth doctor was just a bit loose but I pushed him back in you see there a lot clearer what you get so the first doctor doesn't get his walking stick which is a little disappointing second doctor doesn't get anything either but then he didn't have anything really in the two doctors that I can remember but everyone else gets an accessory which is nice Now they are all brand new, never taken out of the packaging, so they've all got their bands still on, so I'll have to cut them off. Let's get the figures out. So, just do it in a so this is the first Doctor, William Hartnell, based on the web planet. Nice costume there. I'm not going to go over the articulation of each figure because they're all the same. They've all got head, bicep, shoulder, elbows, hands, waist, thighs and knees. If I do notice any differences I will point them out. I don't know if any of them have got butterfly joints and the like, updated sculpts or anything. But yeah, this is the first Doctor. Again, I've mentioned he doesn't come with a walking stick which is a little disappointing, but then he doesn't always have it on screen. Next we have Patrick Troughton as the second Doctor. This is his appearance in The Two Doctors, which was in the 1980s. 
That's when he came back for a two doctor story with Colin Baker, so that's why he's got graying hair. But I do like his outfit. There is an Andragum version of this figure from a two doctor set, uh, but this is the proper doctor. And again, no accessory, but then he didn't have his recorder in, in that story, so that's probably why he didn't have it. Next we have the third Doctor, John Pertwee. He does come with his sonic screwdriver. It's probably my favourite Sonic, the John Pertwee Sonic. This is from his appearance in the Time Monster. I think we've had another Time Monster version. I think he came with a TARDIS. He's got this lovely red jacket on. Very nice. Next we have the fourth Doctor, played by Tom Baker. This is his appearance in The Gopolis, which is his last story, so his hair's starting to go a bit grey or have some highlights in it, which is nice they've done that. Does come with his sonic screwdriver as well. This is probably my favourite figure, or one of them out of the box set, because this is my favourite outfit the fourth Doctor wears, because it's my favourite Season, the last season of his is my favourite, just because it's getting into the 80s era, which is my era of Doctor Who. But yeah, I love that figure, so glad to have that one. Next, another one of my favourites. This is Peter Davison as the Fifth Doctor from The Awakening. He has different trousers to the other versions. Uh, like Normally it's got a gold stripe. This come with a Sonic. The Awakening's one of my favourite Doctor Who stories and Fifth Doctor stories. I just love Peter Davison's era, Doctor Who. It's probably my favourite season of his as well, that The Awakening's in. It's so, yeah, really nice to have that one. Next to Sixth Doctor, I'm not too fast on the Sixth Doctor. This is from Real Time, which I think is, is it Big Finish? But it's a nice colour, I do like the colours on this one. Blue's my favourite colour, so it does stand out. It's a nice variant to have, very iconic. He's got a Sonic Lance, I'm not sure if he had that in real time or not, but they've included it in this box set. Next, my favourite Doctor, Sylvester McCoy, is the seventh Doctor. This is based on Ghost Light. I don't know how accurate this is. I'm presuming it is accurate to Ghost Light. It is true he didn't wear his hat a lot in that story, so that's probably why they've chosen that story to base it on. It does come with this Sonic, which he doesn't use in the series. You only see, well, I don't know if you see it in the TV movie or not. I'm not a fan of the TV movie, but they've included it, and it is, that is technically from the TV movie. It does come with his umbrella, though, which you do see in Ghost Knight. But yeah, they've updated the colours on the scarf and the handkerchief from the previous figure. So I'm presuming it's more accurate to the story. Next we get the 8th Doctor, this is his appearance in The Night of the Doctor where he's injured and obviously he regenerates into the War Doctor. This figure is new or newer sculpt because it's got butterfly joints on the shoulders. Again it comes with his Sonic, he does use that in Night of the Doctor. But yeah, nice costume. Next we get the War Doctor, played by John Hurt from Day of the Doctor. He comes with his Sonic and his outfit from that story. I think it's the only story you see him on screen, other than when he regenerated, obviously. Has this one got? Yeah, this one's got butterfly joints as well, obviously because it's a newer figure. And they were able to build it in to his costume. That's a rather unique figure to get. Next we get the Ninth Doctor, as in The Parting of the Ways. He didn't really have a variety of costumes, mainly just the changing of the colour of his shirt underneath. It does come with the Sonic again, so he's played by Christopher Eccleston. Next we get the Tenth Doctor, played by David Tennant, as seen in Series 3. Uh, still this pinstripe brown suit. The colour of his coat looks a bit lighter. And it's rather more stiff than other figures. It does again come with a Sonic. His hair is quite dark as well in this, in this figure. You can't really tell on camera. But yeah, it's a lot darker than the other figures. And his shoes are really dirty. 
because it's quite muddy in that episode, I'm guessing. Then we get the 11th Doctor. I don't particularly like this figure. The paint application on the face isn't brilliant. Um, he looks like he's wearing heavy eye makeup. Can't quite see it, but I much prefer the normal paint applications. This is obviously Matt Smith playing the 11th Doctor, as seen in The Beast Below. I'm not quite sure what the difference is. The pinstripes seem a bit more defined on this figure. A bit more weathering on his jacket, maybe. Again, comes with a Sonic. It's like an open version of his Sonic. But yeah, still a great figure. And last figure we get is Peter Capaldi as the 12th Doctor, as seen in Deep Breath. Comes with his Sonic, it's like a clothes version, but a really nice colour on his jacket and everything. Just with his shorter hair, I think he gets longer hair as the series goes on. But yeah, I haven't really seen a lot of Peter Capaldi's era, that's one era of Doctor Who I haven't really watched properly. But again, still a great figure, it is an updated sculpt again, so he gets butterfly joints, which is good. Yeah, that's the 12th Doctor. So that's all 13 Doctors in this figure set. You have to let me know which one's your favourite of the figures and which one's your favourite Doctor on screen as well. So just leave that in the comments. And other than that guys, thanks for watching and I'll see you all soon. Take care, bye.